Kulisa u magrisa. Nkulisa gali. Ugutingibe hindo ta ekoto. Ene kliniso. Aute nisbinda kwa zguzmela. Nisiza bandu nkongi subudu. Until fate changed everything. Banyi bihino ba zumbiza nge kwa ala. No mange kawe kwa asifane la gini. Ekliniswe ni agaze nilande lizi nyatelo sami. They say everything happens for a reason, but sometimes bad things happen to good people. We are taught that revenge is not a solution, but this time it had to be an eye for an eye. Gentlemen, you already do that. No, I'm serious, baby. Mm. Okay. But I can't think that I fill up the dome or anything. Mm. No. I like an intimate room. They appreciate it more. Not more than me. Not more than you. I am as intimate as it gets. Is it? Absolutely. I'm joking. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You're right. That's a good thing. I'm going to do it. When they move, I went bad. When I go, she bend your ankle and I'm a bit slow. I go, hey, but for when I'm making things, I'm not a bit slow in that way. Ah, cool. Okay, Eski, so we'll try to keep up with you next time. <laughs> no, we are so good together. We're together. We're together. We're together. We're together. We're together. We're together. Boss, 
They don't kick us out, too. Chemists of change. Filled in the waters. Damn, Sandy, calling in Donayo for a bit. Stock. Fresh from Mozambique. This one's in the game. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's been shooting in the Tlinga. To diversify into other areas of operation. Ah, the mighty Julius Caesar. Son, he is but only a mere mortal soul. Oh, come on. My place. If fuck with the bull, you get the horn. Hmm. This is nice. Thank you. Huh? Olsa Gazilia. 
undercover. Go on and see how one bomb landed. Does the young gain to end the cup of women? No passengers, I'm something else. You don't kill cops. You're gone. Now, my Goldie, pull it. Pull it on police out to the spiders.
Hello. Speaking. Uh-huh. Whoa, 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 hang on. Hang on, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to no, 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 Grant. I'm not going to make that show. Okay, I'll see you there in a couple of days. Sure. Oh no, what are you doing? So, Allah. Hey, sister. Can you show me the salamat to him, Pijela? I choose, sister. Can I choose? Otherwise, just keep on. Fine. I won't lie. Like, I'm happy to see you happy, back, fresh, alive, but... Me too, boy. Fine, I'm going to be able to get you out of here. I'm going to be able to get you out of here. I'm going to be able to get you out of here. Yes, sir. Come on. Don. I found my little sister. Yeah? I peed on my little sister. I'm just a little bit. Dog. I'm not going to leave you. 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 Você quer pôr lá outro nome? Costa, mas Costa, não te vejo. Ferreira, mas te dá o carro te guia ele, ele ele vai de lá no carro te guia, mas. Ah. Parece um dos teus um panam. 
Acho que é melhor que a cama por ele por festa, ou ele não é só santo, ou não. Hum, cool. That's why I was chatting. Nah, I didn't want to. Yeah, I've got it. At least you won't be mad. I was not going to pay up, I'm paying up, I'm going to. I'm going to lose. I'm paying on the Sims, I'm going to score. I'm going to leave it, please. So, at least you're going to have to pay up. Over. Says it. I'm going to pay up, please. Tadaya, I've got to go back, I've got to go back, I've got to go back. Ipo po po, wo po po po, wo po po po. Let's 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 tomorrow. Let's just keep it. Let's tomorrow. Let's. Aila, Belinda. Tada yao. Nasi kanzi. Hey, ngabuzi. Hago. Oh, nasi tosa ko. It's captain. Kuru kuchu kuchu kuru kuchu kuchu. Kuku. Nasi uge. Let's steal. Hispanic let us. Yeah. Let's head on. Yes, we know.
going to be smelling like GMT when I get home. Why if you not like that now? What the fuck? I don't see her with my two eyes. 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 I don't see her Hey, <laughs> He's nowhere. In the go over us. I literally didn't get the last part. Wanna say again? Yeah, it's a two that is a kind of man. What does Nari tell you? Koko Akushoni. And that is why I'm with Rosada. everything. I want to know even what they will be drinking at the after tears. Do you get me? Amen. Go kukesu za utata umshaba sufake imshabeni. Sitate utuli silulatle elutulini. Engwa kubante nse sondi za utela imemba zi femeli zi sondele. Mshaba imshabini utuli elutuli.
Captain, I have to tell the moon. Flynn. Back. We have a plan. What plan? Fine there. Follow him. Now come on the What's next? Okay.
chance I see you in the match. Come on, Jandim, pass match. Something, 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 something. Get over me. Move on. That would have been the hard fucking decent thing to do. And there's nothing I could say to make things right, Drew. I wouldn't blow me lay even the fashion on my heart. Could you guys like a Right or wrong? You didn't give me a choice. I sat for six years, Caesar. Can I have another pose here? Let's leave it on the nilly guy. Propose a nilly nana. I can do it in Ziva. I'm walking on. No, I know. But it took me a fucking long time to get there. You should not have some boy on it, Kate. Kate, don't deserve me. Bye. I could, I could earn it. Earn what? My way back in your life, I could earn it. Caesar, I give a dainty line. Don't play with me. My life is not about me anymore. What do you mean? I want something real. This is real. I am real, this whole time. I said before the six years, I'm going to tell him what the fun of the And it wasn't my mother, it was a slow dance, it was a slow dance, it was a slow dance, it was a slow dance. Blanche, I'll text you. Uh, just one of your boys. 
Schaubose. Singen wir weg. Sehen Sie ihn, Mensch. Trinkt das mal, was er hier am Eifer. Just after he popped out, my sister was there. So he handed him to my sister and, you know, that him thing. And after that, he gave the child to me. Just holding in the child. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Bukarati family, and welcome back to a new and exciting season of the Bukarati Book Club. This season, we'll be doing things a bit differently. As you can see, we're in a more relaxed place because we need to relax ourselves ahead of the conversations that we'll be having. So, to start off this season, we'll be doing a special book that will guide us into healing ourselves and healing our country. As you know, South Africa has been a huge turmoil throughout the past years. And now is the time to start the healing journey. And it starts the best way that we know how, and that is through literature. Our first book for this season will be What Happened to You? A read beautifully curated by Oprah Winfrey and Dr. Bruce Perry. This book speaks directly to what we need to address. What happened to you? What happened to us? And we need to start making this a conversation a conversation of healing, a conversation of understanding, so that we can finally achieve the love and unity that South Africa is so beautifully known for. To kick off this conversation, I've got an amazing guest, a beautiful one too. This guest will be sharing what happened to her and how we often misjudge people, not understanding their story, not understanding their trauma, but understanding their pain. And she'll be directing us to a way of understanding her and those that share a similar story to her. So without any more of wasting time, I'd like to introduce my amazing guest, Paul, my big sister, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yes, he's correct. She's correct. She's a sister. <laughs> um, my name is Mpo uh, Rapotu. I mm. reside in the East Rind, and it's very an, an honor for me to be part of this new venture. Thank I appreciate you. it a lot. Thank so um, we are ready to get our stories out there. We are ready to motivate, encourage, mm. and um, you know, help people with yeah. our stories yeah. to heal. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And the reason why I reached out to you for this um, interview is because, you know, we used to work together yes. at this furniture store who, <laughs> the name we won't mention. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and she was my manager. And I was part of the sales team. Mm -hmm. And the sales, my colleagues would like go on about, oh, this manager is too emotional. This manager is not handling things correctly, but they didn't understand what happened to Susan Paul. And I'm so grateful that you're willing to share your story with us because like I said, and even Oprah goes into what she says, we just say this person is a people pleaser, the crybaby, yes. but we're not willing to know why. Yes. You know, so yeah. thank you so much for sharing your story with us, for willing to share your story with us. And it starts by with me, when I had come to you and asked you more about yourself, what 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 happened to you yeah. and what's your story like? And you mentioned something that touched me and it changed how I saw you. And you mentioned that you had lost your husband yeah. very Correct. recently. And I then saw this other phoenix come up and I saw strength and I saw willpower and I saw what everyone didn't understand and see. So for the audience today, please explain to us what happens to you. Yes. As much as I would say in life, never take for granted um, any person that you meet in life mm. because you might never know um, what's the purpose of that encounter. Mm. Because 
we met in a very short period and <laughs> we just clicked yeah. you know <laughs> and of course it caused a lot of quarrel because people would be like and then why are you guys talking about what are you discussing <laughs> yeah. so I, I ran away from it by saying you know when somebody's still new you have to teach the ropes and all that so why not close to me exactly <laughs> you know, yeah. so mm -hmm. uh it's unfortunate that sometimes people even though it's out there that don't judge a book by its cover but people will always do that mm. and mm. i've been judged a lot and people um tend to think that they know even though they don't mm. so in my case um i've encountered a lot of challenges and up until I lost my husband, that's when I was like, God, this is enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen the worst horrible things from my childhood growing up yeah. and coming to this level of losing a loved one. Somebody you share a meal with every day. Mm -hmm. Somebody you expect a text and a call now and again. Mm -hmm. That was just the end of me, so I thought. Yeah. So um, I had to change work. That's why we met. I was in a, a certain company for a very long time mm -hmm. and that was my comfort zone because I was there, I was enjoying it, yeah. you know. But after the incident, after what I have encountered, after losing my husband, it was no longer the same because we would go out to have lunch, he would pick me up, he would drop me there. So the scenario itself caused a lot of harm. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided I need to move mm -hmm. and I didn't want to be a person that every time people will look at me at work around the area and you know feel pity That's for me it. because mm. they know mm. so changing the environment was like this is a time for me to start afresh yeah. create a new scenario new pattern of my life yeah. little did i know don't just chase the money <laughs> and all that so, um in the beginning it was great you know because it was a total total 10 for me Mm. So uh, you get into a new environment thinking, I've done this managerial post for such a long time. I mm. can still do this like mm. anytime in my sleep, you know. Exactly. But uh, being in the same industry, things are not done the same in these mm. companies, believe you me. From, um, you know, levels from the top management up until to the subordinates, it's mm. not the same. Mm. So you adjust, you adapt, but it's never easy. Mm. So... Um, I get in there telling myself that I can do this. I believed in myself, but it was not as I thought. Mm. I'm telling you it was a roller coaster, which I believe that maybe it was, if it was not because of what I was going through, you know, the stress, the depression, yeah. the pain that the pain. you are trying to live away, mm. it, 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 it stays mm. there. It constantly says, hello, you can love that I am here. Yeah. You have to, one way or the other, face the reality that you are in that situation. You can be in denial, you are in that situation. Mm. People have moved on. Yes, we buried him, it's done and dusted, but you carry the hurts, the pain and the burden mm. in you. So um, it's been hard mm -hmm. because nobody understands that um, what you are carrying, you carry it throughout mm. the entire day, the entire night, every second of your day, you are feeling that pain. Mm. You just don't want to show it. And to you walk as a brave woman, you you know confident and out there yeah. and deep inside you heading you heading you, hurt you slowly but surely losing heading. something mm -hmm. you know so they say that um the wound never heals you you just learn to adapt to live with it mm -hmm. you just learn to accept mm -hmm. that it is what it is so my new work environment added a lot to the pressure because I've worked my entire life. I've never fainted at work. Mm. That was the first sign of saying, you know what? I am. No. That was a cry for help. I'm not okay. No, okay. And people look at me walking down the streets. They they clap. They pat my back. Well done. You're so brave. Mm. Little do they know that when I'm alone, um, it's not that easy. Not, no. You have those moments where you just wanna Break disappear. Mm. You know yeah. that. Can I not hear that I am strong? Mm. Because honestly, I am not. Mm. But you're just giving out that, that face, impression. yeah, mm. that impression that you know what I, I have to do it. Yeah. The worst part of it is when you have children that are looking up to you. You have your colleagues, you have your friend, you have your church mates, you have the community that is looking at you and saying, "Wow." 
and you don't want to fail them at some point mm. because you you still want to show them that it is still possible. Mm. You wake up, uh, the pillow is wet from tears. Nobody knows that. Nobody sure. sees that. It sure. is only you drowning yourself in those moments. Hey Spillers, it's your boy Romo here. And today I'm taking you along on my drive to Bloemfontein. It's about a four hour drive from Johannesburg. So I've got some snacks, some good music and a lot of excitement. It offers a reliable 1.6 litre MP engine that delivers 81k of power, confidently taking you from, from point A to B. It also improves traction and stability movement through curves, guaranteeing a journey where you are in complete control. The Polo sedan is fitted with convenient parking technologies such as a rear view camera system, rear park distance control, and hill start assist. With the rear view camera system, experience increased visibility when reversing to hills and back again. It's amazing how much natural beauty there is in South Africa. And I'm grateful to experience it firsthand on this drive. It really puts things into perspective. Inside our dust and pollen filter and the Climatronic air conditioning system with this enhanced air filter. These features all regulate airflow while keeping it clean, making your polo sedan the perfect space to breathe. That create a minimal and seamless appearance. A new bumper and grille design stretches across the front with echo LED headlamps to help you maintain caution during nighttime drives. Move to the back and let tail lights complete a sensible charm. It looks stunning at night. You can't tell if it's a view you or front. The Polo Sedan shares a similar look to the Polo Hatchback, but the front fascia has a different design. It's more subtle compared to the Polo Hatchback. There's a massive gloss black lower grille surround accommodating the lower air dam and fog lamps with their surrounds. The headlamp shape is slightly different, slightly rounded off compared to the hatch. There's also some chrome trim around the front and and rear of the vehicle, but it's not overpowering. As a whole, the Polo sedan is easy on the eyes and it looks more mature compared to the more youthful looking Polo hatchback. In the front, the Polo set ensures a similar look to the Polo hatchback, but flat fascia has a different design. It's more subtle compared to the Polo hatchback. There's a massive gloss black low grille surround accommodating the lower air dam and fog lamps with their surround. It's sure the pond shape is slightly different, slightly rounded off compared to there's also some chrome trim around the front and rear of the vehicle, but it's not overpowering. As a whole, the polo sedan is easy on the eyes and it looks more mature compared to the more youthful looking polo hatchback. And there is Blomfunden in this final destination. The drive was smooth and uneventful, but I'm just glad to be here. And it is quite cold. I'm excited to explore the city. Thanks for tuning in and joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.